you cannot say Catholic priest without someone thinking pedophile. There's no yeah. other occupation on earth that has such a connection to pedophilia. Have you ever wondered what secrets might be hidden behind the ancient walls of the Vatican? On a recent episode of the Joe Rogan Experience, intriguing discussions hint at something dark happening that the Vatican doesn't want you to know. First-hand accounts of real-life exorcisms from Catholic priests trained by the Vatican. They say they've seen demons in action. Could there be hidden truths that challenge everything we believe? Join us as we delve into these mysteries, asking the questions. What is really going on inside the Vatican? And why the secrecy? Number 12. The Ancient Archives Hidden deep beneath the majestic halls of the Vatican lies a labyrinth shrouded in mystery and intrigue. The Vatican's secret archives, spanning miles of shelves and vaults, these archives are rumored to hold documents and artifacts that could redefine our understanding of history. What could be so powerful or controversial that it must be kept hidden from the world? For centuries, scholars and theorists have speculated about the contents of these secret chambers. Some whisper of lost texts, ancient manuscripts, and correspondences that could shed new light on historical events or religious teachings. Could there be letters that challenge traditional narratives or maps that point to forgotten civilizations? Access to the Vatican's secret archives is highly restricted. Only a select few scholars receive permission, and even then, they can request specific documents rather than freely explore the vast collections. This level of secrecy fuels curiosity and questions. Why such tight control? What secrets are so sensitive they must be guarded so carefully? Imagine the revelations that could emerge from these ancient tomes. Could they hold answers to historical mysteries, insights into philosophical questions, or accounts of significant events kept away from public knowledge? The very idea ignites the imagination and beckons us to ponder the possibilities. The allure of the unknown captivates us. As we stand before the gates of the Vatican, we can't help but wonder what stories lie untold within the ancient archives? What impact could they have on our world today? Until more is revealed, the Vatican's secret archives remain one of history's most fascinating enigmas, inviting us to question and explore the depths of hidden knowledge. Number 11. Dark Structures When you think of the Vatican, images of grandeur, spirituality, and sacred art probably come to mind. But what if some of the art and architecture within its walls holds deeper, more unsettling meanings? Could there be hidden symbols that suggest something far darker lurking beneath the surface? One of the most striking examples is the Statue of the Resurrection, a massive bronze sculpture located behind the Pope's seat in the Paul Sussex Audience Hall. Unlike traditional depictions of Christ's resurrection, this artwork portrays a figure emerging from a vortex of chaos with twisting forms that some find eerie or unsettling. The sculptor, Pericle Fazzini, intended it to represent Christ rising from the crater of a nuclear explosion, a symbol of hope emerging from devastation. However, the dramatic and somewhat distorted portrayal has led some observers to question its symbolism. Is it merely a modern artistic expression, or does it hint at themes that are more ominous? Another point of intrigue lies in the design of the Paul VI Audience Hall itself. When viewed from certain angles, both the exterior and interior bear a resemblance to the head of a serpent. The building's curved roof and the placement of its windows have led some to see the eyes and fangs of a snake. Inside, the ceiling's design and the layout of the seating add to this serpentine imagery. Given that the serpent is a complex symbol, representing wisdom and rebirth in some cultures and temptation or evil in others, this architectural choice has sparked curiosity and debate. Was this resemblance intentional? And if so, what message is being conveyed? These observations have led to various interpretations and discussions about the presence of hidden messages or meanings 
within the Vatican's structures. While art and architecture are open to personal interpretation and often designed to provoke thought and emotion, it's fascinating to consider the layers of symbolism that may exist. Are these designs simply artistic choices, or could they be inviting us to explore deeper themes about faith, humanity, and the dualities present in our world? The Vatican's rich history and its role as a custodian of art make it a captivating subject for such explorations. Number 10. The Devil Lives at the Vatican When one thinks of the Vatican, images of grandeur, holiness, and centuries-old traditions often come to mind. But beneath the gilded ceilings and sacred relics, could there be shadows that hint at something far more sinister? The notion that the Devil Lives at the Vatican is a provocative theory that has captured the imagination of many, inviting us to explore the enigmatic depths of this revered institution. One of the most compelling facets of this theory revolves around the Vatican's deep involvement in exorcism practices. The Church openly acknowledges the existence of demonic forces and has an official institution dedicated to combating them. The Vatican's own school of exorcism. Here, priests from around the world are trained in the ancient rites meant to expel evil spirits. The question arises, why does the Vatican place such significant emphasis on exorcisms in the modern age? Could this be a reflection of an ongoing battle with darkness that is closer to home than we realize? Adding to the intrigue are historical events, like the Cadaver Synod of 897 AD. In this bizarre and macabre episode, Pope Stephen VI ordered the exhumation of his predecessor, Pope Formosus, placing the corpse on trial for supposed transgressions. The spectacle of a deceased pontiff being accused and judged is unsettling, suggesting that power struggles within the church have, at times, taken decidedly dark turns. What motivated such drastic actions, and what does it say about the forces at play within the highest ranks of the church? Whispers of shadowy figures and unexplained occurrences within the Vatican walls have also fueled speculation. Some claim that mysterious presences and unsettling phenomena have been reported by those living and working in the city-state. While these accounts are often dismissed or downplayed, they contribute to the aura of mystery. Number 9. Vatican City Tucked away within the bustling city of Rome, lies Vatican City, the world's smallest independent nation, both in area and population. But how does a country that spans just over 100 acres wield such immense cultural and spiritual influence? What secrets and treasures are hidden within its ancient walls? Despite its tiny size, Vatican City is a powerhouse of art, history, and religion. It serves as the spiritual and administrative heart of the Roman Catholic Church, guiding over a billion followers worldwide. As you step through its gates, you're immediately immersed in a rich tapestry of architectural marvels and historical landmarks that seem almost too grand for such a compact space. One of the most iconic sites is St. Peter's Basilica, a monumental church that dominates the skyline with its majestic dome designed by Michelangelo. Inside, the grandeur continues with breathtaking art and sculptures, including the poignant Pietà. The basilica sits atop what is believed to be the tomb of St. Peter, one of the Twelve Apostles of Jesus, adding layers of historical and spiritual significance. Just a short walk away is the Sistine Chapel, renowned for its awe-inspiring ceiling frescoes. Can you imagine standing beneath Michelangelo's masterpiece where every brushstroke tells a story from the Book of Genesis. This sacred space is not only an artistic gem, but also the site of the Papal Conclave, where new popes are elected in secrecy and tradition. Vatican City is also home to the Vatican Museums, a series of galleries that house one of the world's most extensive art collections. From ancient Egyptian artifacts to modern religious art, the museums offer a journey through time and human creativity. The sheer volume and diversity of the exhibits might make you wonder 
How did such a small nation curate such an expansive collection? Beyond the art and architecture, Vatican City operates with all the trappings of a sovereign state. It has its own postal system, issuing stamps that are highly sought after by collectors. The Swiss Guard, dressed in their distinctive Renaissance-era uniforms, serve as the Pope's personal protectors, adding a splash of color and tradition to the city-state's daily life. Despite its status as a hub of religion and tradition, Vatican City isn't frozen in time. It engages with global issues, promotes interfaith dialogue, and addresses contemporary social challenges. This blend of ancient heritage and modern relevance keeps the intrigue alive. Vatican City may be the world's smallest country, but its impact is undeniably vast. Whether you're drawn to its spiritual significance, its artistic treasures, or its unique place in world affairs, visiting or learning about Vatican City is an invitation to explore a place where history and the present moment converge in fascinating ways. Number 8. Back to the Roots Before Vatican City rose to prominence as the heart of the Roman Catholic Church, its grounds were little more than marshlands on the west bank of the Tiber River, a modest area of ancient Rome with no connection to Christianity. It was a land steeped in pagan traditions, dotted with temples dedicated to Roman gods. So how did this site transform into one of the most significant religious epicenters in the world? The catalyst was Emperor Constantine in 313 AD. Facing a fragmented empire and seeking unity, Constantine issued the Edict of Milan, legalizing Christianity. This groundbreaking move not only granted religious freedom, but also aligned the burgeoning Christian population with his reign. Was this a genuine spiritual awakening for Constantine or a strategic decision to consolidate power? One of his most monumental acts was commissioning the first St. Peter's Basilica, constructed over what was believed to be the tomb of St. Peter, the apostle Jesus referred to as the rock upon which he would build his church. By building the basilica at this sacred site, Constantine solidified the physical and symbolic foundation of Christianity in Rome. Yet some historians speculate that this grand gesture was as much about political influence as it was about faith. These actions have ignited intriguing discussions about Constantine's true intentions. Could his embrace of Christianity have been a calculated move to harness the growing influence of the religion? Were the roots of the Vatican intertwined with lingering pagan practices and motifs from Rome's past? The melding of old pagan sites with new Christian significance reflects a fascinating blend of tradition and transformation. Whether driven by genuine belief or astute governance, Constantine's decisions undeniably set the stage for the Vatican's rise the true depth of his motivations might remain a mystery. Number 7. Missing Books of the Bible Have you ever wondered if there's more to the Bible than what we read today? Imagine discovering that at one point, the Bible contained 14 additional books that have since vanished without clear explanation. What secrets might these missing texts hold, and why were they removed? Back in 1611, when the Bible was first translated from Latin to English in the King James Version, it included a total of 80 books. Today, most versions contain only 66. The 14 missing books are known as the Apocrypha, a term meaning hidden in Greek, an intriguing name for texts that have been excluded from the sacred canon. These books include Esdras, Tobit, Judith, the Wisdom of Solomon, Bel and the Dragon, the Maccabees, and more. The reasons for their removal have been the subject of debate and mystery. Some suggest that these books didn't align with certain doctrines of the church or contain teachings that challenged established beliefs. For instance, the wisdom of Solomon delves deep into themes of wisdom, spirituality, and divine understanding, concepts that could have been seen as threatening to the authority of church leaders at the time. Adding another layer to the mystery is the discussion 
around the name of Jesus. Before these 14 books were removed, Jesus was often referred to as Isus, a spelling rooted in Latin and Greek translations. Some speculate that preserving the original names might have led us to call him Yahushua today, reflecting a closer connection to his Hebrew origins. Why alter even the spelling of the Savior's name? Was it a natural evolution of language or an intentional shift to reshape narratives? While some believe the Apocrypha was removed to simplify the Bible or make it more accessible, the absence of these texts leaves many questions unanswered. Interestingly, these books are still considered sacred in various Christian traditions, such as the Eastern Orthodox and Ethiopian churches, indicating their enduring spiritual significance. The Vatican has never provided a definitive explanation for the exclusion of these books, keeping the intrigue alive. The missing books of the Bible continue to captivate scholars and believers alike, inviting us to explore what hidden wisdom and stories might lie just beyond our reach. Number 6. Mysterious Death of Pope John Paul I the sudden and unexpected passing of Pope John Paul the Fern in 1978 remains one of the most intriguing episodes in modern Vatican history. After serving as Pope for just 33 days, the shortest papacy in over a century, his death shocked the world and sparked a myriad of speculations. How could a seemingly healthy and energetic leader die so abruptly? What secrets might have led to such an untimely end? Known affectionately as the Smiling Pope for his warm demeanor and progressive outlook, Pope John Paul the Ways had ambitious plans for reform. He intended to investigate alleged corruption within the Vatican Bank, an institution that had been mired in scandal and linked to questionable financial dealings. His commitment to transparency and accountability endeared him to many but may have unsettled others, entrenched in the old ways. The official cause of death was reported as a heart attack. However, the lack of an autopsy and conflicting accounts surrounding his final hours fueled suspicions. Some wondered why standard procedures weren't followed, especially given the suddenness of his passing. Was there more to the story than the Vatican was willing to share? These unanswered questions led to various theories about possible foul play. Some speculated that powerful individuals within the church, or connected to the Vatican Bank, might have felt threatened by his proposed reforms. Others suggested that his death was a tragic coincidence, exacerbated by stress and existing health conditions. Despite numerous investigations and books exploring these theories, no concrete evidence has emerged to confirm any allegations of wrongdoing. The mystery of Pope John Paul's death continues to capture the imagination, serving as a reminder of the complex interplay between power, faith, and transparency. His brief but impactful papacy left a lasting impression on the church and the world, highlighting the profound difference a leader can make, even in just 33 days. Whether his death was the result of natural causes or something more sinister, the legacy of his vision for a more open and just church endures. Number 5. Nazi Collaboration As the horrors of World War II unfolded, the Vatican found itself at the center of a storm of controversy surrounding its alleged collaboration with Nazi officials. How could an institution that preaches peace and compassion be implicated in such dark alliances? The whispers of complicity and silence continue to echo through history, inviting scrutiny and debate. Nazi collaboration claims center around the so-called rat lines, secret escape routes established after the war to facilitate the flight of war criminals. Reports suggest that the Vatican played a significant role in aiding high-ranking Nazis, providing them with false identity documents and safe passage to countries like Argentina and Paraguay. This shocking revelation raises questions about the Vatican's moral stance during one of history's darkest chapters. Additionally, the Vatican Bank's involvement in questionable financial practices during and after the war has drawn attention. 
Allegations of money laundering and the church's financial ties to Nazi officials created a web of intrigue that continues to unravel. The bank reportedly benefited from the assets seized from Jewish families and other victims of the regime, prompting outrage and calls for accountability. The reluctance of the Vatican to open its war-era archives only deepens the mystery. Critics argue that transparency is crucial for understanding the extent of the Church's involvement and the motivations behind its actions. While the Vatican maintains that it acted to protect lives during tumultuous times, the shadows of its past linger, prompting ongoing debate about moral responsibility, complicity, and the need for reconciliation. The collaboration with Nazis remains a haunting chapter in the Vatican's history, reminding us of the complex interplay between faith, power, and the choices made in desperate times. Number 4. Telescope In the heart of Vatican City, amidst the ancient architecture and sacred art, lies a modern marvel that has captured the imagination of both scientists and believers alike, the Vatican Observatory and its powerful telescope. But what is a telescope doing in one of the world's oldest religious institutions? How does the Church reconcile faith with the mysteries of the universe? Established in 1582, the Vatican Observatory is one of the oldest astronomical research institutions in the world. Its mission is to explore the cosmos not just through the lens of science, but also as a way to deepen our understanding of creation. The observatory's telescope, located at the Castel Gandolfo estate, is equipped with advanced technology that allows astronomers to study celestial phenomena, from distant galaxies to the intricate details of our own solar system. The Vatican's commitment to astronomy challenges the perception that religion and science are at odds. In fact, the Church has long encouraged the pursuit of knowledge, believing that studying the universe can reveal the grandeur of the Creator. This perspective is embodied in the words of Pope John Paul II, who famously stated that faith and reason are complementary. As the telescope peers into the vastness of space, it raises profound questions about our place in the universe. Are we alone in this boundless cosmos, or do other forms of life exist beyond our understanding? The Vatican Telescope serves as a bridge between faith and scientific inquiry, inviting us to explore the wonders of creation with awe and reverence. In a world where the cosmos holds endless mysteries, the Vatican's commitment to exploration reminds us that the quest for understanding is a journey worth taking. Number 3. The Three Secrets of Fatima In 1917, the small village of Fatima, Portugal, became the epicenter of one of the most captivating and controversial events in Catholic history, the apparitions of the Virgin Mary to three shepherd children. But what were the secrets she revealed, and why have they sparked such intense speculation and debate over the decades? The three secrets of Fatima hold profound implications for the Church and the world. The first secret was a vision of hell, described vividly by the children. They saw souls suffering in eternal torment, a shocking revelation that underscored the importance of repentance and the need for humanity to turn back to God. This haunting image served as a wake-up call, urging the faithful to embrace their spiritual duties amidst a world on the brink of chaos. The second secret was a prophetic message concerning World War II, warning that if humanity did not cease offending God, a greater war would ensue. This prediction was chillingly accurate, and it led to calls for prayer and penance throughout the Church. The urgency of this message resonates even today as we grapple with the consequences of violence and division in our world. The third secret remained shrouded in mystery for decades, withheld from the public by the Vatican. Finally revealed in 2000, it detailed a vision of a bishop in white, interpreted as a representation of the Pope 
who would be assassinated amidst a scene of destruction. This revelation gave rise to interpretations surrounding the attempted assassination of Pope John Paul II in 1981, leading many to ponder the connection between prophecy and history. The three secrets of Fatima continue to invite contemplation and discussion. They challenge us to reflect on the interplay between faith, prophecy, and the choices we make as individuals and as a society. As the messages of Fatima echo through time, they remind us that our actions hold consequences and that the call to faithfulness is as urgent today as it was over a century ago. The secrets are not just historical curiosities, they are poignant reminders of the spiritual battles we face in our journey through life. Number 2. Mount Graham and UFO Theories Nestled in the picturesque landscape of Arizona, Mount Graham is not just a natural wonder. It has become a hotbed for UFO theories and extraterrestrial speculation. Why has this serene mountain, home to the Vatican's advanced astronomical observatory, become a focal point for those seeking answers beyond our world? The intertwining of science, spirituality, and the unexplained captivates the imagination. The Mount Graham International Observatory, established in the 1990s, boasts cutting-edge telescopes designed to explore the cosmos. However, the mountain's remote location and the observatory's advanced technology have fueled conspiracy theories suggesting that it serves a more clandestine purpose. Some theorists posit that the Vatican's presence signals a hidden agenda, perhaps monitoring extraterrestrial activity or even making contact with beings from other worlds. Adding to the intrigue are reports of unusual sightings in the area. Locals and visitors alike have claimed to witness strange lights darting across the night sky, as well as unidentified flying objects that defy conventional explanations. These accounts have led to a growing community of UFO enthusiasts who gather at Mount Graham, hoping to capture evidence of the unexplained. The mountain has also garnered attention due to its sacred significance to the Apache tribe, who believe that its summit is a holy site. The clash between scientific exploration and indigenous beliefs raises profound questions about ownership of the land and the balance between technological advancement and respect for sacred traditions. As Mount Graham continues to attract both astronomers and UFO hunters, it stands as a symbol of humanity's enduring quest for knowledge and connection. Theories surrounding the mountain invite us to ponder our place in the universe. Are we alone, or is the cosmos teeming with life waiting to be discovered? In a world where science and the supernatural often collide, Mount Graham remains a captivating enigma, urging us to look beyond the stars and question the very fabric of reality. Number 1. The Wave of Hypocrisy In an age where social media amplifies every voice, the phenomenon known as the wave of hypocrisy has emerged, becoming a focal point of cultural discourse. How can individuals and organizations preach values of equality, justice, and compassion while simultaneously engaging in practices that contradict those very principles? This dissonance has sparked outrage and disillusionment, challenging the sincerity of public figures and institutions alike. Recent events have revealed a troubling trend. Prominent leaders advocating for social justice while quietly perpetuating systems of inequality. Whether it's a corporation touting sustainability while contributing to environmental degradation or a politician championing workers' rights while benefiting from exploitative labor practices, the contradictions are glaring. This wave of hypocrisy casts a shadow on genuine efforts for change, leaving the public questioning the authenticity of those in power. One striking example lies in the entertainment industry, where celebrities often take to social media to express their support for social movements. Yet behind the scenes, many are found to be complicit 
in the very systems they criticize. This disconnect can lead to a growing cynicism among fans and advocates who feel betrayed by the very voices that should champion change. Moreover, this wave extends to everyday life, where individuals may espouse progressive values while maintaining biases in their own communities. The allure of virtue signaling has become a double-edged sword, as people strive to appear socially conscious without engaging in the hard work of self-reflection and personal growth. As we navigate this complex landscape, it is essential to hold ourselves and others accountable. True change requires more than rhetoric. It demands action that aligns with our declared values. The wave of hypocrisy serves as a potent reminder that authenticity is vital in our quest for a more just and equitable world. Only by confronting our contradictions can we hope to create a future rooted in integrity and genuine commitment to the ideals we profess. Mahabharata Descriptions of Nuclear-Like Explosions In the ancient Indian epic, the Mahabharata, there are vivid descriptions that some interpret as hints of nuclear-like explosions. One passage, dating back thousands of years, describes a devastating weapon called the Brahmastra, capable of immense destruction and fire akin to the power of the sun. It's said to have caused great devastation, with fierce winds and immense heat that consumed everything in its path. This ancient text, revered in Indian culture, raises intriguing questions about advanced technology in ancient times. Scholars and historians speculate on whether such descriptions could be poetic metaphors or records of actual events. The secrecy surrounding this interpretation stems from the implications it holds for ancient civilizations. If true, it would challenge conventional beliefs about technological advancements and the understanding of history. The location of these events, according to the Mahabharata, is primarily set in the ancient Indian subcontinent, particularly around present-day India. The epic describes battles and conflicts where these powerful weapons were allegedly used altering landscapes and causing mass destruction. The secrecy surrounding these interpretations lies in the sensitivity of reinterpreting ancient texts and the implications for historical narratives. Number 19, Piri Race Map and Lost Continents. The Piri Race Map, drawn in 1513 by Ottoman cartographer Piri Reis, is a remarkable artifact that has puzzled historians and scientists alike. It depicts coastlines of Europe, Africa, and the Americas with surprising accuracy, including details of Antarctica's coastline, predating its discovery by centuries. This has sparked intense debate and speculation about how such knowledge was obtained in an era when exploration of these regions was limited. One of the map's most controversial aspects is its depiction of Antarctica, then covered in ice. Studies using modern technology have confirmed that the coastline shown on the map matches the topography beneath the ice, which raises questions about the source of Piri Race's information. Some theories suggest ancient advanced civilizations or knowledge passed down through oral traditions that somehow made their way to the Ottoman Empire. The mystery deepens with claims that the map could potentially support theories about lost continents like Atlantis or Mu, speculated to have vanished in cataclysmic events. Such theories, though unproven, add to the allure and secrecy surrounding the map. Number 18. Ancient High Technology in Harappa The mystery of ancient high technology in Harappa, an ancient city in the Indus Valley civilization, has fascinated researchers for decades. Harappa, located in what is now Pakistan, flourished around 2600 to 1900 BCE, known for its advanced urban planning and sophisticated drainage systems. However, recent discoveries suggest there might have been more to their technological prowess. Archaeologists uncovered peculiar artifacts in Harappa, including precision-made stone tools and artifacts with intricate designs that suggest advanced knowledge of metallurgy and craftsmanship. Some artifacts even hint at the use of sophisticated machining techniques, raising questions about 
how a civilization so ancient could possess such advanced technology. One theory suggests that the sudden decline of the Indus Valley civilization around 1900 BCE might have led to the loss or intentional hiding of technological knowledge. The reasons for this decline remain unclear, but environmental factors such as climate change and ecological degradation have been proposed as contributing factors. Number 17. Easter Island Statues and Zealandia Easter Island, known for its iconic stone statues called Moai, holds a mystery that stretches back centuries. These massive statues, some weighing up to 80 tons, were carved by the Rapa Nui people between 1400 and 1650 AD. Scholars believe the Moai represent ancestors and leaders, embodying spiritual and political significance for the islanders. Beyond these statues lies a deeper enigma. Zelandia, a submerged landmass in the Pacific Ocean. Scientists theorize that Zelandia, which now lies mostly beneath the sea, was once a sizable continent connected to Australia and Antarctica. Its existence challenges conventional maps and theories of ancient geography. Why the secrecy? Some suggest that knowledge of Zelandia challenges established narratives of human migration and ancient civilizations. Its discovery could rewrite history books, questioning how early humans traveled and settled across the vast Pacific. Zelandia's submersion, estimated around 23 million years ago, remains a geological puzzle. Its existence was confirmed through seabed mapping and geological studies, revealing a landmass about half the size of Australia. The mystery deepens as scientists continue to explore its implications for understanding Earth's ancient continents and the evolution of life. Number 16. Cheyenne Mountain Complex Nestled deep within the granite heart of Cheyenne Mountain near Colorado Springs, Colorado, lies a secretive bastion known as the Cheyenne Mountain Complex. Built during the height of Cold War tensions in the 1960s, this sprawling underground facility was a direct response to the fear of nuclear war. Its construction was completed in 1966 at a cost of over $142 million, a staggering sum at the time. But what makes this complex so mysterious, designed to withstand a nuclear blast, Cheyenne Mountain became the nerve center of North American Aerospace Defense Command operations. From here, military commanders monitored the skies for any sign of Soviet missiles or bombers ready to respond at a moment's notice. The complex stretches deep into the mountain, encompassing chambers and tunnels that house essential command centers, communication networks, and even living quarters for personnel. During the Cold War, the secrecy surrounding Cheyenne Mountain was paramount. Any breach of security could have compromised its strategic importance, potentially tipping the balance of power between the United States and the Soviet Union. Number 15. Vatican Apostolic Archive The Vatican Apostolic Archive, nestled within the Vatican City, holds a trove of historical documents dating back centuries. This repository safeguards manuscripts, letters, and decrees that chronicle the Catholic Church's history and its interactions with world powers and societies. Established in the 17th century, it became renowned for its vast collection and strict access protocols. One of the most intriguing aspects of the Vatican Apostolic Archive is its secrecy. For centuries, access to its contents was tightly controlled, with only a select few scholars and officials permitted entry. This secrecy fueled speculation about the nature of its contents, leading to various conspiracy theories. In recent years, efforts have been made to increase transparency. In 2020, Pope Francis ordered the archives opening for documents related to Pope Pius VII's controversial World War II era papacy. This move aimed to address long-standing debates about the Church's role during the Holocaust and its relations with Nazi Germany. The archive's contents include papal correspondence, diplomatic communications, and records of church proceedings. 
These documents shed light on pivotal moments in history, such as the trial of Galileo Galilei in 1633 and the Church's response to the Protestant Reformation. Number 14. Missing Books of the Bible The missing books of the Bible, excluded from the traditional Bible canon, offer unique insights into early Christian teachings and beliefs. One notable example is the Gospel of Thomas, discovered in Egypt in 1945, containing sayings attributed to Jesus. The reasons for these exclusions vary. In the 4th century, Emperor Constantine convened the Council of Nicaea to standardize Christian doctrine. This led to the formation of the New Testament as we know it today, with some books omitted due to theological disagreements or concerns about their authenticity. The Epistle of Clement, for instance, provided guidance to early Christian communities, but was left out. Other texts, like the Book of Enoch, found in the Dead Sea Scrolls, were revered by some early Christians, but did not make it into the final canon. These books often contain teachings on topics such as angelology and apocalyptic visions, diverging from the theological focus of the accepted texts. Scholars continue to study these texts to understand early Christian diversity and beliefs. The discovery of ancient manuscripts like the Nag Hammadi Library in 1945 has shed light on previously unknown texts. These findings continue to reshape our understanding of early Christianity and the formation of the biblical canon. Number 13. The Donation of Constantine The Donation of Constantine is a document that dates back to the 8th century. It was supposedly written in the name of Roman Emperor Constantine who ruled in the 4th century. The document claims that Constantine transferred authority over Rome and the western part of the Roman Empire to Pope Sylvester. It was created in the 8th century to support the Pope's political and territorial claims in Italy. The document was written in Latin and was very detailed, describing the supposed transfer of authority and land. Why was this kept a secret? The donation of Constantine was used for centuries by the popes to justify their temporal power over territories in Italy. It helped strengthen their political authority and influence. The document was so influential that it shaped the relationships between the papacy and secular rulers for many years. In the 15th century, a humanist scholar named Lorenzo Valla proved the document to be a forgery. He analyzed the language and style used in the document and compared it to writings from Constantine's time. Number 12. ADX Florence Prison ADX Florence Prison in Colorado, USA, stands as one of the most secure prisons in the world. Built in 1994 and operated by the Federal Bureau of Prisons, it houses some of America's most notorious criminals, including terrorists, spies, and high-profile gang leaders. The prison's strict regime and state-of-the-art security measures make it a fortress of solitude, designed to prevent escapes and isolate inmates completely from the outside world. What sets ADX Florence apart are its extreme security protocols. Inmates live in solitary confinement for up to 23 hours a day in small concrete cells equipped with minimal furniture and narrow windows that offer little view of the outside. The facility employs cutting-edge technology from motion detectors to cameras, ensuring constant surveillance. Guards, equipped with non-lethal and lethal weapons, maintain strict control over the prison's environment. The secrecy surrounding ADX Florence stems from its role in housing individuals deemed highly dangerous or with sensitive information. Notable inmates have included Ramzi Youssef, mastermind of the 1993 World Trade Center bombing, and Theodore Kaczynski, the Una bomber. The design and operation of ADX Florence have sparked controversy over human rights, particularly regarding prolonged solitary confinement. Number 11. Missing Centuries in the Middle Ages The concept of missing centuries in the Middle Ages refers to a puzzling gap in historical records from roughly the 7th to the 10th centuries AD. This period, known as the Early Middle Ages or the Dark Ages, lacks detailed documentation 
compared to the periods before and after it. Historians have noted that this era saw significant disruptions across Europe and the Mediterranean region. The fall of the Western Roman Empire in 476 AD plunged much of Europe into instability and fragmentation. This collapse disrupted trade routes, cultural exchanges, and administrative structures that were crucial for maintaining written records. During this time, invasions by various groups such as the Visigoths, Vandals, and later the Arab expansion into Europe further disrupted political and social stability. The Carolingian Renaissance in the 8th and 9th centuries attempted to revive learning and culture in the Frankish Empire, but comprehensive historical records remain sparse. One theory suggests that the scarcity of written records may also be attributed to the decline of centralized authority and the shift towards more localized governance. As feudalism emerged, power became decentralized and written documentation often pertained more to local affairs rather than broader historical narratives. Number 10. Korean Demilitarized Zone The Korean Demilitarized Zone, aka DMZ, is a strip of land that divides North Korea and South Korea. It stretches 250 kilometers across the Korean Peninsula and is about 4 kilometers wide. Established in 1953, after the Korean War, it serves as a buffer zone to prevent conflict between the two Koreas. Surrounded by barbed wire fences, minefields and heavily armed soldiers, the DMZ is one of the most heavily fortified borders in the world. It has become a symbol of the tense relations between North and South Korea, frozen in a ceasefire since the war ended without a peace treaty. In 1976, it was the site of the Axe Murder Incident, where two U.S. Army officers were killed by North Korean soldiers during a tree-trimming operation. This incident heightened tensions and almost led to renewed conflict. Over the decades, the DMZ has become a haven for wildlife due to its restricted access. Endangered species like the Amur leopard and red-crowned crane have found refuge in its untouched forests and marshes. Despite its ecological significance, human activity is strictly controlled and few civilians are allowed beyond the border. Number 9. Principality of Sealand The Principality of Sealand is a tiny, self-proclaimed micronation located on an offshore platform in the North Sea, about 12 kilometers off the coast of England. Its story begins in 1943 during World War II, when the Ruffs Tower, a World War II defense platform, was built by the British Royal Navy to protect the coast from German air raids. After the war, the platform was abandoned until 1967, when a British Army major named Paddy Roy Bates occupied it. Bates declared the platform as the Independent Principality of Sealand on September 2, 1967, naming himself and his family as the Royal Family. This declaration was based on his belief that the platform was outside British territorial waters and thus could be claimed as a sovereign nation. In 1978, Sealand faced a significant challenge when a group of Germans, led by Alexander Achenbach, attempted to take over the platform while Bates and his family were away. They captured Bates's son, Michael, but Michael was able to retake control of Sealand and capture the invaders. The group of Germans were eventually released, but the incident drew international attention to Sealand's unusual status. Number 8. Iron Mountain Data Center The Iron Mountain Data Center, deep within a limestone mine in Pennsylvania, USA, holds a secretive role in modern technology and security. Originally a mine for iron ore in the 19th century, its transformation into a data fortress began in the Cold War era. During this time, fears of nuclear war prompted the US government to seek secure locations for critical data storage away from potential targets. In 1951, Iron Mountain became a natural fit due to its remote location and sturdy rock walls, perfect for protecting sensitive information. 
Despite its critical role, the secrecy surrounding Iron Mountain stems from its status as a strategic asset. Access is tightly controlled, with multiple layers of security and advanced surveillance systems safeguarding its contents. This level of protection ensures that data remains secure from both physical and cyber threats. During the 9-11 attacks in 2001, Iron Mountain continued operations uninterrupted, underscoring its reliability in times of crisis. Its importance was further highlighted in 2012 when Hurricane Sandy struck the East Coast, yet Iron Mountain's facilities remained operational, safeguarding crucial data for its clients. Number 7. Coca-Cola Vault Back in 1886, a pharmacist named John Pemberton concocted a caramel-coloured syrup in a small pharmacy in downtown Atlanta. This syrup, when mixed with carbonated water, created a refreshing drink that soon became a sensation. As demand for this new beverage soared, Pemberton's partner, Asa Candler, recognized the need to protect the recipe from competitors. In 1919, the formula was transferred to a bank vault for safekeeping. Over the years, as Coca-Cola grew into a global icon, the secrecy surrounding its recipe intensified. In 1925, the company chose to keep the formula's written copy locked away in the Trust Company Bank, now Sun Trust Bank, in Atlanta. This initial decision later led to the establishment of the Coca-Cola Vault, which was built in 2011 to house the original recipe securely. The reasons for such extreme secrecy are manifold. Protecting the formula ensures that Coca-Cola maintains its unique taste and consistency worldwide, safeguarding its market position and brand integrity. Number 6. The Three Secrets of Fatima In 1917, in the small Portuguese town of Fatima, three young shepherd children, Lucia dos Santos and her cousins Jacinta and Francisco Marto, experienced what they believed were apparitions of the Virgin Mary. The Virgin Mary appeared to them six times between May and October, revealing three secrets to the children during these apparitions. The first secret was a vision of hell, which deeply shook the children and reinforced the importance of repentance and prayer. The second secret, revealed in July, was a warning about the dangers of World War I and the need for peace in the world. The third secret, revealed to Lucia in 1917 but kept secret until 2000, was a vision of a bishop dressed in white, accompanied by other clergy, walking through a devastated city filled with corpses. They climbed a hill and were martyred by soldiers who fired bullets and arrows at them. Many interpreted this vision as a prophecy of the assassination attempt on Pope John Paul II in 1981. The Catholic Church kept the third secret confidential for decades. It was finally disclosed by Pope John Paul II in 2000, fulfilling a promise made by Lucia before her death in 2005. Number 5. The Dead Man's Trial This peculiar trial took place in 1874 in France, where the deceased defendant, Jacques Ferrand, was summoned to court. Yes, summoned after his death. Jacques Ferrand was accused of murdering his own son, despite having passed away days earlier. The trial was not a mere formality, but a fully-fledged legal proceeding held in the town of Poligny. Astonishingly, Ferrand's body was exhumed, dressed in his finest attire, and placed in the dock as if he were still alive. The courtroom spectacle unfolded with witnesses giving testimonies against the deceased, detailing the alleged crime. The prosecution presented its case fervently, arguing that even death should not shield Ferrin from justice. Meanwhile, Ferrin's defense counsel, acting on behalf of his estate, passionately argued his innocence. The trial captivated the public imagination, sparking debates over the limits of legal procedure and the rights of the deceased. Despite its bizarre nature, the court upheld a semblance of order and decorum, treating the deceased with a measure of respect throughout the proceedings. Number 4. The Antichrist 
The concept of the Antichrist has intrigued people for centuries, rooted in religious beliefs and prophecies. In Christian teachings, the Antichrist is portrayed as a figure who opposes Christ and deceives humanity, often associated with the end times and the final battle between good and evil. The idea of the Antichrist emerged from biblical texts, particularly from the New Testament books of Revelation and the writings of Paul. These texts describe a powerful adversary who will rise to prominence, wielding great influence and leading many astray. Over time, interpretations and speculations about the identity and actions of the Antichrist have varied widely. Historically, figures like Emperor Nero of Rome or political leaders during times of crisis have been suggested as potential Antichrist figures due to their perceived tyranny or opposition to Christian values. Such interpretations often fuel speculation and debate among religious communities and scholars. The secrecy persists due to the profound implications linked to the Antichrist in religious beliefs. It symbolizes a cosmic struggle between good and evil, marking a pivotal moment in eschatological beliefs. Understanding or identifying the Antichrist is seen as crucial for believers preparing for the end times, shaping religious doctrines and interpretations. Number three, the Great Unconformity. The Great Unconformity is a geological mystery that puzzles scientists and intrigues explorers of Earth's history. Found in the Grand Canyon of the United States, it reveals a gap in time between two different rock layers. Imagine looking at a book where several pages are missing without any explanation. That's what the Great Unconformity is like in geology. In the Grand Canyon, the Tapiat Sandstone, formed around 500 million years ago, lies directly on top of Vishnu Schist, which is about 1.7 billion years old. This missing gap of around 1.2 billion years has sparked numerous theories, but no concrete answers. Scientists believe this gap might be due to massive erosion or periods of missing sediment deposition, but the exact reason remains elusive. One of the reasons this geological feature is kept somewhat secretive lies in its significance. Understanding the Great Unconformity could rewrite our understanding of Earth's history and how its landscapes formed over billions of years. It challenges existing theories about geological processes and the timeline of Earth's development. Number 2. Anatoly Fomenko's Extreme Revisionism Anatoly Fomenko's Extreme Revisionism is a controversial theory that challenges traditional views of history. Fomenko, a Russian mathematician, proposed that much of recorded history as we know it is incorrect. He argues that events attributed to ancient times might actually be much more recent, and that major historical figures like Jesus Christ and Genghis Khan may have lived in the Middle Ages rather than antiquity. Fomenko's theory gained attention for its bold claims and meticulous mathematical analyses. He and his colleagues applied statistical methods to historical texts and artifacts, aiming to identify patterns and inconsistencies that suggest a different chronology of events. For example, he analyzed astronomical data from ancient texts to argue that some events described in ancient chronicles could correspond to celestial phenomena from the Middle Ages. This revisionist approach challenges the established narratives taught in schools and universities worldwide. It suggests that our understanding of human civilization's timeline and major historical figures might be fundamentally flawed. The implications are profound, potentially reshaping our understanding of cultural identities, religious beliefs, and geopolitical histories. Number 1. The Highest Crime Rate in Vatican Vatican City is a small sovereign state nestled within Rome, Italy, and home to the Pope. It is known for its spiritual significance and historical treasures. Yet beneath its serene facade lies a darker reality. Reports indicate that Vatican City, despite its small size and primarily religious character, faces significant challenges with crime. The exact nature of these crimes varies, ranging from petty theft 
to more serious offences. Instances of pickpocketing and theft have been reported, especially in crowded areas such as St. Peter's Square and the Vatican Museums. Tourists and pilgrims drawn to Vatican City's cultural and religious landmarks often fall prey to these crimes. Policing within Vatican City is primarily handled by the Vatican City Police Force, which works in conjunction with Italian authorities. However, the Vatican's unique legal status sometimes leads to bureaucratic delays and challenges in prosecuting offenders. This secrecy can be attributed to concerns over the city-state's reputation as the spiritual center of the Catholic Church. The Vatican strives to project an image of tranquility and sanctity, and any acknowledgement of high crime rates could potentially tarnish this image. Thanks for watching another episode. While you are still here, make sure to click the video on your screen for more quality content.